guys, thanks for tuning into my channel. Today I'm doing another exploding happy mail box or exploding box happy mail thing, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I used the uh, tutorial by Kira from Create Craft Repeat, so I'll link that below. And it's a really good tutorial, it's really easy to follow. I love it. It's better than the cut file I used from the silhouette. So, um, in the middle, I started with uh, just putting a phrase. That's kind of like how I. That's kind of how I like to start uh, the boxes. Is to put some some kind of phrase in the middle, and then on that first flap, I put a triangle pocket, and now on the one behind it, I'm putting, um, just some clusters. To kind of make it interesting. Uh, I'm using a lot of the crepe paper. There's crepe paper Heart Day and crepe paper Hello Love. So that would be 2017 and 2016's Valentine's Day collection from crepe paper, I believe. So that's what I'm using for this. And it all matches together, the two collections. So it really wasn't difficult to coordinate. Right now I'm going to make an envelope using my We Are Memory Keepers punch board, like always, out of this pink paper. Paper, It's actually an ombre paper. Don't mind the little, um, you, that's my fuse tool ruler. Don't mind that. I can't find the right tool for it right now. So for now, my videos get that in it. And it's kind of embarrassing, but I'm getting over it. Anyway, so I'm making this envelope, la di da pretty straightforward, really easy and simple to use, and I'm going to hot glue it right there. I like to use my hot glue gun. Not everyone is a fan of hot glue, but I like how instant it dries and how well it glues down. Sorry about my head there. I just wanted to make sure I got it in the middle. Putting some stickers here and there that I believe I actually got those stickers from a pen pal. I'm sorry. I'm not sure who. I can't quite remember at the moment. But that chipboard, those lips are from the Heart Day collection. That was this Sears one. That For You is actually, I think it's the Snow and Coco collection. I didn't have many letters and numbers left, but I wanted to use them up. So that's what I put so I could use up as much as I could. I'm putting a little pocket down here and I used my circle punch to make that little indent. And I just put that in there to kind of show that it's a pocket and not just like a square sitting there. And then another pocket with some little embellishments on the side. So far so good. I can first see that pocket having like tags or something in it, little tags or something. I don't know. Guess I'll find out when I fill it up and give it to someone. So now I'm going to make a sequin mix using colors that coordinate with the mail because I love it when I get mail and it coordinates, the sequin mix coordinates with the mail. Like it's just so fun. I just love it. And I think my pen pals are so creative. I mean, it doesn't ever have to, but I just... It's, uh, it shows the little personal touch and the heart they put into it, so I like that. Shows they put a lot of effort into it. So I have a lot of different sequins um, that's kind of Valentine's themed. Um, that, I don't know, even though it's that Valentine's themed, I think that's okay. Um, I think I got them from a pen pal, actually, so... Thank you to my pen pal, whoever that was. I'm sorry, I can't remember. And then I'm putting some seed beads in it too. And yeah, just kind of things of different sizes and shapes and textures. And I think I put two large beads in it too. And then I'm going to put that into a little baggie once I clean it up. Oh no, I'm adding more color. Yep, put cleaning it all up, shaking it up, and then putting it into a little baggie. There we go. Perfect. 
I'm going to staple it together. And I made, I just found that in my scraps, that little piece there. I found it in my scraps. So, whoa. Sorry, my cat just jumped off my chair and made it spin around. <laughs> um, yeah, so I used scissors to cut that to give it more texture. And uh, yeah, it was just in my scrap box already made. So I used that. And those wooden, wooden buttons that are flowers and strawberries are from a swap that I did. Uh, what else have we got here? I think that's kind of the final touches of that. Maybe not. Oh, there's still one more flap to do. How could I forget? What am I going to do on this one? Let's see. I think I might make build like some kind of layered cluster thing. Let's see what I do. Oh, yes. Yeah, so I cut that from the cut apart sheet uh, from the Hello Love collection and I stapled it on. Uh, that is from a pen pal that says hooray. And then that's from a swap. Like I said before, I didn't realize that I put two strawberries back to back like that. <laughs> oh, well. And then that's from that same sticker sheet that I was telling you about. Trying to use that one up and, uh, yeah. Cause then I can just get more Valentine stuff next year. So there's nothing wrong with that. All right, so it's all done now. You have to let me know what you think. It's very Valentine's themed. I know that it's very themey, but there's nowhere that it says Happy Valentine's Day or anything like that. It's just pink and red and yeah, it's cute. So let me know what you think and I hope you're feeling inspired by these videos because I know when other people post them I feel very inspired to just see what other people are doing and uh yeah so I think that's that's what the videos are here for that's what YouTube's here for to inspire each other so I hope you all have a wonderful day and a wonderful week and we'll talk soon bye bye